So, majority of you saying it's an attractive potential energy. Um, the potential energy goes down when these two things get closer together. So forces are acting to bring them closer together and that means this one is being pulled that way and this one's being pulled that way which means they are attracting each other. They're attracting each other means the potential energy goes down when they get closer together. Now, this one you actually know. This is at least somewhat physical. Here's the ball. The Earth is the other object. They attract each other. Which means the potential energy goes down as they get closer together. And that's what you see there. Potential energy going down as the two things get closer together. The force on the force on this one is directly toward that. It's being pulled toward the other one. The force on this one is directly toward that one. It's another thing about interactions that, that you'll talk about a lot more in 7b is that both, at, both objects feel an interaction equally and oppositely. So this one feels a force down and to the left and this one feels the same magnitude force, but not down and to the left, instead up and to the right. Exactly equal and opposite forces. Any questions about that one? <coughs> so I'm going to skip ahead to this one. Suppose the distance between these two objects is shown by R, as shown to the right. Potential energy. In other words, the interaction energy of this pair of objects. Okay, so now we're going to give it a complicated shape. Here's the potential energy. Here's the distance between the two objects. Here's R. Here's R equals zero. Here's R equals four angstroms. Uh, the potential energy is zero. It goes down and then it comes back up again. Is the interaction between these two objects attractive? or repulsive? Are the two objects attracting each other or repelling each other? And I'll remind you, the force always acts to decrease the potential energy. 